Hi, I am Heidi Swap, and I am here at Create to Remember. And I am so excited to show you today one of my very favorite bookbinding techniques. And it's so easy and so quick. I'm a total mini book lover. I love to make mini books, and I love how fun it is to document like one or two, you know, times or memories inside of a mini book and finish something. I think that in my life, because I'm never finishing, never finishing the laundry, never done making, you know, never finishing anything. I love to actually finish a project and be able to set it on the table and enjoy it. So I have a few here just to kind of show you, and then I'm actually going to put one together so you can see how easy it is and fun to put together. All right. Back to back means that I'm taking one piece of paper folding it in half, and then gluing the next piece of paper with it. So this one is like a really basic. I've used an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, folded it in half, and then as you can see, as the patterns change, I have just folded it and then glued them, glued the pages back to back. The great thing about this is that you can see in the middle, there's no book rings, there's no spine, my book can lay totally open, which is really nice when you're doing, you know, a full layout inside the book. So this one is really easy to do. Now let me show you a variation on this one. So this one is just kind of rectangles. Now look what happens when you um, do shaped pages. Now the pages have to be symmetrical. That's what's going to be the magic there. So a heart is awesome because it's totally symmetrical, but you can see that each one of the pages is a different pattern. And this one is actually a hybrid book. I printed all of these pages out on my, my printer, or actually I think these ones I got copies made at the copy store. And then you just glue them all back to back and put it, this one's in just like a little chipboard book outside cover. Now let me show you one more that is really fun because of its shaped pages. This one, um, I misted the papers. This is from the mistable line with, uh, done by Pink Paisley. And I cut all the pages in this fun shape. And then as you open it, you can see that the patterns change and some of the pages are a little bit shorter on one side. And it's just a really great way to make an easy mini book and add photos and have that whole layout. I think it's awesome. Okay, so I want to show you this one because I'm using a chipboard backer for it and then adding the pages. And let me show you how this works. So when you open the chipboard backer, and this is one that I've made through Pink Paisley, and you can see here, as the pages flip up, notice again, I've done back-to-back -back adhering of the pages. And that's what makes the book stay together. Now, I haven't brought the books that have a bunch of photos in, so, because I wanted you to be able to see how these pages go together. As you can see on this one, these pages have been cut to the width of the book that I needed, but are the full 12 inches long. In this case, as I said on this one, the pages needed to be symmetrical, like on my hearts. In this case, I uh, scored the pages a little asymmetrically so that when I glued them back to back, you can see that this page is a little bit shorter than this page, as is this one, and I was able to do a little decoration. So are you ready to see how I put this together? I love it. All you need is to have your papers trimmed and ready to go and some adhesive. I'm choosing to use Glossy Accents, which is my favorite adhesive. I love it because it dries really fast. I'm using, I've already kind of got this all prepped so that I would be nice and fast, but I'm using the gorgeous papers from the Nantucket line that Pink Paisley just released in the summer uh, 2011. And here I've got all my pages. Now, like I said, I have trimmed them to the size that I need them. And I've chosen to use about five pages. I've already covered the outside of my chipboard book. Now, if you wanted to use 
I love to use materials that I have like in my pantry or wherever that's really easy to find. This one is already scored and um, I folded it and the way this one's going to close is I've got a little rubber band and that's going to hold the cover closed. But I haven't even finished embellishing the cover yet, but I'm going to have this all ready to uh, glue in. Now the inside of my book is nine inches and so that's, so I've cut all of my pages down to nine inches wide and I've scored them all at seven inches because that's the height of my book. So you can see here when my page fits in here, it's going to fit exactly in between my score lines and it's folding exactly at the top and bottom of the book. So you can see that I've already folded down the first page and I'm getting ready to glue it in. So I'm going to glue the back of the page. So I'm going to put the glue as close to the edge as I can because this is actually going to, and actually, why don't I just add a little bit more big X in the center? Because this is going to be, I'm working upside down. This is really what's holding the entire book and all the pages in is just my glue on this very back page. All right. So you can see, and I'm just going to move this back a little. You can see here that the seven inch side is down and I've got a five inch flap that's coming over. All right, now I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and glue the next page right on top and line up this five inch section. So again, I'm just putting glue around the outside edge and then I want to make sure that my crease lines line up. The trick with this type of binding is to always make sure that you're doing it as tidy as you can. Um, making sure that your edges line up and that the creases line up so that it looks very clean. All right, so you can see that I just glued the seven inch section that I scored, glued those together. And now I've got a five inch section. I'm gonna go ahead and add, actually it's not this way. <laughs> Make sure that you know what back sides you're going to put in <laughs> because you, it's a, it's a little bit confusing when you fold it because you will be losing that back side pattern. All right, we're almost done with the last page. I'm putting five pages in and you could really stack as many pages as you'd like, especially in this little album cover because it's about one inch thick. Okay, so now let me just show you that I have the whole thing glued together. I can do my embellishing here. I can add photos, but look, I've got these huge pages with a really great surface area to add my photos and my memories. And I've got these cool short ones that I can add ruffles or tags. It's really a fun way to embellish it. Then when I close it, let me show you how great I added this little elastic and I've got all this room in the inside. The great thing about that is that if you get bulky embellishments in there, the, the case is really going to protect it. So I promise you it was quick and easy. Now I love to look back on books and albums that I've made and I think that's one of the most important things if you're going to spend time scrapbooking and making books and albums, get them out and look at them. Um, this is a back-to-back -back bound book that I made several years ago. And um, it says, how to totally enjoy summer fun time together. All right, so this was, um, I can remember I was pregnant and we went to the water park. And I love how I went there with the intention to get good photos. And so I took great photos, I journaled, and I love looking back because sometimes even when I look back, I think, Oh, if I wouldn't have written down, if I wouldn't have written that down, I totally would not have remembered that. Um, I got some great photos of the boys together and even Quincy who fell asleep on her, on her towel. So anyway, I just want you to remember that as you're creating these projects, you're really creating them so that you remember. So be sure to look back and really enjoy them once you have them all done and share them with your family. So come back next time, and in the meantime, make pretty stuff. <laughs>